surprise visit to the locker room. Second half, Leroy Watkins got the ball yanked away by Kevin Alt, and then Watkins yanks Alt's head to the ground. Watkins got a flagrant foul. Late second half, Steve Hansel gets the ball down low. Lose it straight up in the air. Watkins, who'd been in the lane about five seconds, got his hook swerve on. 18 points, five rebounds. Then Jamar Smiley to Rob Gibbons. Gibbons dunks it. Illinois State wins the Missouri Valens Conference Tournament. Skip Schaefbauer holding the plaque at the end. Illinois State, the first MVC team to win the regular season and conference tournament titles in consecutive seasons. The ruling was on the last Iona team to win an NCAA tournament game. Second half, Iona up sick. Tariq Kirks they gets the pass inside. Layup reverse, nice makes, or makes the nice layup reverse. He was 6 of 13 shooting. Then Kirks say again, 18 points, 11 rebounds. Iona up eight. Later, Iona up six. Kirks say falls and turns it over. Melvin Freeney gets to Brandon Fields. Fields. I say, ah, I'll let a brother. Oh. One of 16 Iona turnovers turns into two of Fields' 11 points. Iona, too tough. John McDonald, fifth gear overdrive. McDonald would say later, it was the biggest game of my life, and I wasn't going to let them stop me. 24 points, five rebounds, six assists. Iona wins it 90 75, headed back to the big dance for the first time since 1985. And this is for Jimmy V, one of the school's all time greats. Charlie Jones, nation's leading scorer, 28 points per game. Breaking off something real proper. He had 23 in this game, but he went 14 minutes in the second half without scoring. Still first half, Richie Parker, fat Parker at 18. LIU up 44-37 at the break. Second half, all fairly Dickinson. Rashawn Turner brought the noise. He had 37 points, 25 in the second half, and then Turner with his only assist of the game to Jonas Sinding. Fairly Dickinson wins it 105-91. Turner's, is, Turner's 37, 25 of those. That's a, I don't know, it was a Don. I thought, I thought Marlon Brando was a Don. That's Bakari Hendricks. He's a Don. We're tied at 42. Late in the second half, Rauf, Rauf, Rauf was on fire. Sadat with the post move and the foul. Then Rauf Sadat, the pull up J. Don's up 11. Zags coach Dan Monson needs a stop, but Sadat would offer no peace. The baseline jumper from Sadat. He had 18. The Dons win 80-67 and win their first in the first half. Ryan Keefe drives off balance. Jaden Smith. UNLV up four at the half. Hawaii still down four in the second half. Aaron Galloway, two of his 12 points. Rainbow's down two. But Tyro Nesby shot clock winding down six. The dagger and the Rainbow's heart running Rebs going to win 64-59 and a tough loss for Hawaii. San Diego State and Wyoming. We pick it up in overtime. Jason Ritchie slashes. Hits the jumper along the baseline. He had a game high 20. Aztecs up one. Larry Shyatt's team would have one last Shyatt at it. Down three. Four seconds left. Andy Young's desperation three doesn't go. And the Cowboys bubble perhaps burst. Is San Diego State a three point winner? Tulsa and BYU. Tulsa in control in the second half. Rob Thompson and Michael Ruffin reverse. Alley oop flush. Tulsa up 14, but this is a BYU team that beat New Mexico in the pit. Ron Salives drives, spins, two of his game high 17. Tulsa up only nine. It's a three-point lead in the closing second. Danny Bowers, three attempt, stripped away by Thompson, and Tulsa holds off the Cougars' comeback in a three-point win in Tulsa as Vance on the bubble may have burst for Colorado State, which lost to SMU in its opening round game 76-71. to The Rams fell down by as much as 25. Three from the top of the key, Satin. A career high 33, but Goodrich, he'd say later, usually our lead doesn't evaporate like this. Evaporated did. Pins Michael Jordan. No, not that one. Offensive board. No. Matt Langle there to put it in. Pin on a 17 to 4 run in overtime. Brian Earl dishes to Gabe Luellis. Hey, Gabe, it's your world, kid. The rest of us just checking you out on Sports Center. 18 points on 6 of 11 shooting. He had six boards. Princeton goes on a win at 78. Sarrier and the. Second half, Raging Cage is down 14. Chris Snowden saves the ball to Casey Green. Kid is like a gunslinger with his three. Green, 4 of 11 from three land, 14 points. Green, another tray, part of a 9-0 Southwestern Louisiana run. 130 left in the grain. Tyrone Foster to Chris Manuel from the corner. Money. Only Manuel's ninth three all year. He had 14 that cut the lead to one. Cajuns down three. Ten ticks left. Tyrone Foster is shot blocked by Coxham. Then Foster's shot. 
the iron. South Alabama wins it 62 to 59, winning the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. In the second half, the Cajuns kept it close by being true on seven of nine three points. In Green Bay and Butler, second half, Wisconsin Green Bay down five. Kevin Ohm pushes down low to Jerry Karstensen. JC 13 points, four boards. Matthew Graves, smooth on the three. He had 18. Butler up six. As a team, Butler 7 of 19 from three lands. Second half, Otis Frazier. Otis, my man, do you mind if we dance with your dates and dance in the paint? He had 17 points. Otis Frazier did in five boards. And the Bulldogs get a 9.6 in the floor routine. They celebrate their second straight big dance second. Valparaiso, leading conference score. Shorty might have NBA game. Geek Devon Lewis, 10 of his 12 in the first half. His dad, Homer, thinks he's got NBA game. Drew, nice handle to Bill Jenkins for the layup. He added five assists, four rebounds, four steals. Who that is, said Homer. That's just my baby mama. Who that is, Youngstown State coach Don Peters. It wasn't all Drew. Valparaiso up 16. Bill Jenkins milks the three. He had 16 points. The Drews and Valparaiso earn an NCAA bid, beating Youngstown State 16. Round three is the MAC semifinal game. Bonzi Wells, get with me, dog. The all-time leading scorer in MAC history. Are you kidding me? Looks like a future SB winner. Second half, scary moment, though. Eastern Michigan coach Milton Barnes lightheaded. He got his pulse checked. He'd leave for about 10 minutes, but would return. 13 seconds ago in the game, Bonzi Wells on point. He missed his first seven shots, but he hit nine of his last 10. We're tied at, over, at 84 in overtime. Bonzi to Jerome Davis. Davis brought the funk. Bonzi Wells, 24 points, nine assists. Ball stayed up two, but wait. The dunk knocked the shot clock down. Ball State fans grew funny noses and waited seven minutes. Wow. Under one minute left, Earl Boykins, all 65 inches of him getting his freak on. Leading score in the MAC this year, 35.7 assists. James Head, under 30 ticks to go, mm. shoots the air ball. He was just 2 of 10. Bonzi Wells fouled out, 1 assist, 1 rebound, shy of a triple-double. Ball State's ball down 1. Playing rolling. Rolling. Crossed him over. Boykin stripped him clean. Little Earl. Bill Needle. Little Earl was big, fat, huge Earl. One of seven steals he had. Eastern Michigan wins it 93 to 92. They jack up Ball State for the third attack during a game Saturday. More on that later. Kent's Ed Norville loses the ball. Anthony Taylor to Wally Serbiak. Don't hurt him, Wally. Serbiak, 18 points of 4 of 11 shooting. Then Wally getting some love from the rim. Didn't shoot well from the floor, but he was 9 of 10 from the free throw line, and he got that as one of his four buckets. Then John Estick down low to Anthony Taylor. Taylor working it. Hell. Switched hands in midair. Two of his 22. Miami of Ohio moves on to the MAC final with a 64-59 win. Halftime and Kevin Norris with a rebound here in the second half. Full court to Hensley for the lay-in and the Hurricanes are up by a deuce. Hensley had 20 points and Bubakar Ow takes over spinning and hitting. And then now in transition using the glass and Georgetown beginning to show what it can do today at least. Past him James there's Ow again and the foul. Ten of the first twelve of the second half Ow had for Georgetown. Mario Bland and Joseph Tuomo fighting for the loose ball and with a minute to go. Sherard Long with two canes in his face. Nails it. Boy is ice bland in the hurricane 62 to 56. In this game, I would say right now the bubble is a generous description of where Miami is. Eric Clark gets the ball down low. A little fake power dribble, and Rutgers at halftime is expected up by seven. Here come the Nears making a second half run. Damian Owens, strong drive, off balance shot. Matt Nears up by three, and then Rutgers heating up from behind the arc. Earl Johnson, four for five outside today, and then Jeff Billick does the same thing, and then Raj. Hodgson, Rob Hodgson nails it from the left side, and Hodgson finds Johnson. Moving the ball well on the break. And at the end of this is Jeff Greer. Rutgers, for the first time ever, wins a Big East tournament game. And does it at Madison Square Garden, 72 to 65. West Virginia, 22 and 8. Open the Big East tournament, Pat Garrity off the pass from Jimmy Dillon. Garrity, 18 points, eight boards for the Irish. Providence in transition. John Liner with the alley-oop to Jamel Thomas. More Thomas. First the steal. And check this baby out. Bob used to do that in high school. See, that is Bob in high school. Second half. Thomas blowing by Anthony Weish. 
And another monster slam. Providence wins it 72-55. Jamel Thomas and Justin Farley, 17 points apiece for the Friars. So we go to Philadelphia. Charlton Clark with the three from the corner. He had 21. Virginia Tech would keep it close, though. Andre Ray to rock and roll, and Roberts, who had 21. In the second half, Larry Kettner with the ball inside, and he will dunk over the double team. Kettner finished with 21 as UMass wins it 64 58. Clark and Kettner, 21 points apiece. First half, St. Joe's Frank Wilkins hits the jumper from the top of the key. Wilkins had 18 points. Final seconds of the game, LaSalle up by one. St. Joe's Deval Simmons goes up for the shot. Foul by Cazell Wesson. After making the first shot, Simmons makes the second free throw, and St. Joe's wins it by that much. 73-72. Hawks have now beaten the exceeding Brian Wardle for the three. Marquette, 49% at the half, shooting from the field, and they led by seven. Second half, not so hot. Marquette scored a grand total of six points in the first 11 minutes of the second half. And DePaul would come back less than 10 seconds ago. They're down by two. Coleman misses the three, but it is Glover gets fouled under the hoop. He'd go to the free throw line. And Glover promptly missed the first free throw. And after to two timeouts. Cooper to the Glover promptly missed the second free throw. But Colvin gets the rebound, throws up the shot. The ball holds on 52 to 50. The Golden Eagles, who won the Conference USA tournament last year, nearly squandered a 15 point lead. Brooks, the Houston coach, fired on Sunday, still on the sidelines. On AG, Kelly McCarty and the jumper. McCarty, 11 points in the first half for Southern Miss. McCarty to Van Daryl Jones, who had all of his 11 in the first half. Golden Eagles in the second half. Jimmy Floyd with a block. Let's come back the other way. Where's McCarty? There he is. On the wing. 17 on the game for McCarty and James Green's team coasting. Of Ohio, Boykins is not tall, but he plays large. 5'5", five, five, and going over 6'10", Rich Allendorf. Eastern Michigan up by 10 at the half. Second half still going. Derek Dial redirects this thing, and Boykins will push it quickly. Not looking. Fancy. John Zajac will finish. Boykins, seven assists, no turnovers. James Head at the line. Now, remember Tuesday night, team up one, 21 seconds left. He airballed tonight. Head plays it a bit safer, although maybe not intended to go off glass. It boinks off glass, and Coach Milton Barnes could have used the pressure relief last night, but he gets another win. Earl Boykins loved the camera, worked the camera. 29 for Boykins, who set a three-game tournament record with 89 points. On the bubble, Duquesne's Kevin Shan slams it, and then he auditions for World's Strongest Man. Same Bonnie up two at half. Bonnie's working it to Tim Wynn. Ricola hits the three win with 17 and then Rashad Palmer he'll go he'll shoot he'll miss he'll rebound he'll score he had a game high 27 St. Bonnie 75 to 62 we're going with free throws up the court rejected by John Celestan Cummings gets it back tied at 80 with 10 seconds to play 1.2 seconds to go Villanova one last chance Zephy Penn and we go into overtime in overtime pits up two Cummings, nice move on Celestan. Get open, get the hoop. Pit up, 86-82. 26 seconds left in overtime. Villanova down three. Celestan had 25. We're tied at 88. Seven seconds left in overtime. Still tied. Cummings, Celestan again. Cummings, no. Crosby, no. Ricardo Greer's attempt is rejected. Cummings lets one fly, and we go into double overtime. Look at it again, though. Check out the block. Goaltending? Shot isn't anywhere near the rim. Double overtime. Cummings had played every minute of the game so far. Had 37 points. And you can bet he's going to take the final shot. Eight seconds to go in double overtime. Tied at 93. Cummings, Celestan. Cummings drives. Spins. Celestan with a strip. Next page, please. <laughs> Brian Lynch throws it ahead. Howard Brown. Brown got it. Nova wins at 96-93. Despite the great individual effort, Denny Crum looking for his 22nd NCAA tournament appearance with Louisville. Cameron Murray faking to Nate Johnson. He didn't fake to Nate Johnson. He passed to him, but he faked first. Louisville up four. South Florida down 19. Chauncey Asbury, great save. Shattered. Jenkins gets the ball, the lay in plus the foul. Watch again. Asbury save. Box off the face of Tony Williams. Uses the defender. Cardinals dominant here. Murray with the rip on the lob. And pushing it. Reverse skate. Williams looking for Johnson. The give and the go. There's the give. There's the go. Kind of slow give and go, but it worked. Louisville by 14. Show them what they've won. The USA Conference first round game. 
Shaheen Holloway going for the ball. But injures his knee, and Tommy Amaker has reason to be concerned. Holloway would be carried off. He would miss five minutes of game action, but he's a basketball player. He would return. Holloway drives around Dwayne Woodward and then hits the floater. Seton Hall by one. 21 seconds left. Seton Hall down three. Who do you go to? Oh, no. Who do you go? Holloway! Tied at 81. And we go into overtime. In overtime, Holloway stripped by Costas Maglas. Antonio Granger, BC up three. They win it by 10. And the reason why we went on the air late. Thank you. 97 87. Bitter. The Dayton miss. Maurice Curtis, who's got mad hops. Fordham led by four at halftime. Dayton would play the second half without starting point guard Edwin Young, who had a sprained ankle. So Dayton goes to their go to guy, Ryan Perriman. Ryan Perriman. Gets it to go. Perriman again. Flyers within two. It was basically the Ryan Perriman show. And thus the Ryan Perriman highlight. Dayton up one. More Perriman. You couldn't stop him. You couldn't even contain him. Ryan Perriman at 20 in the game. I am shouting. And I don't know why. But they teach you that when they teach you to be a sportscaster. Just St. Louis facing Tulane, second half. St. Louis up nine. Larry Hughes gets the steal, spins, gets it to Corey Frazier for the lay-in. Frazier at six. Second half, St. Louis up 14. Hughes showing his offensive skills with the drive. Nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Hughes had 19. Perry Clark and...